the Diaz daily fight in San Diego yeah. about six years ago. Phenomenal. Uh, Probably what one, was one of the best rounds ever in MMA. What, yeah. what, what do you remember about that fight? And you know, the the thing about that fight uh, that I just, just you know, it's as fresh now as it was then, was how tough both guys were at certain points in that fight. Because Nick got hurt in that fight by Paul, and Paul got hurt by Nick. But it was the ending sequence. Nick Nick hit Paul to the body with a freaking he hit him, you know, up top, and he hit him to the body that took all of the air. You could hear the air, you know, since I'm close. I hear it all. <laughs> and uh, 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 you can hear Paul trying to suck in air, and he can't because mm-hmm. his diaphragm is, you know, closed up. And it's locked down. And instead of retreating, Paul went after him. And that's what I remember is, God damn it, you're a tough son of a bitch. Because mm-hmm. Paul went after him and started throwing, and that's he, get, he got hit by a shot that hurt him off of that, and he goes down. And, you know, when he went down, people are like, you know, why did you stop it? You know, and it's like, I didn't stop it when he went down. He went down, and Nick comes after him, and I let it go. But Nick ended up landing. I think it was a right hand that hit him on the left side of his face, and he looked up, and his right eye was looking straight at Nick, and his left eye did a left-hand turn. And was turning outside into the, you know, le- uh, and really, yeah, absolutely, and that's why I stopped the fight. Eesh. Okay, because at that point, look at uh, his brain is tweet. I, I can't let him. There was probably, a, and I knew how much time was left because I'm counting because I had heard the clacker that ten second clacker had gone off, and so I knew about there was about two to three seconds left in the fight. Two to three seconds, the damage that Nick Diaz can do to a person that cannot defend themselves in that time. I am not going to be the guy that allows that to happen. Paul got hit with a shot that put him out of that fight. Okay. You know, he did his job. He came in. He fought his ass off. He put Nick in bad positions. He gave the fans everything they paid for. His job is not to leave extra parts of his body inside of that cage because John McCarthy doesn't do his job. What are the Diaz brothers, McGregor, and some of the other talkers saying? Like, <laughs> you can you can say expletives on the show, so, you like, know what? Uh, like Come at, come at me, motherfucker. Is it street lingo? or, or Sometimes. You know, Nick and Nate, they, they tend to call people bitch a lot. Mm-hmm. Hey, bitch. How's that bitch? You know, <laughs> they talk, you know. and But they're not bad, you know. Uh, are con- you entertained by con- it? Or are, are you so at zoned times, out? That, no, at times, okay. I'm, at times it, it's hard for me not to laugh. Uh-huh. You know, <laughs> Connor is the one. You know, Connor will sit there and he goes, oh, that hurt, didn't it? You know, and he says, hey, how that feel? Oh, 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 that was supposed to what was going to happen. How'd that feel? You know, and he talks a lot. <laughs> but... Mm-hmm. So he's you know, narrating the fight. The other guys are more like insulting. Yeah, uh, you know, they're all different. But you know, who, who else is a talker that we don't? Oh know my god, about? Frank Shamrock was one of the biggest talkers there was. Mm-hmm. Frank Shamrock. Remember this moment? <laughs> he told Barone, <laughs> oh, yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah, "You're going yeah, to sleep." Going to sleep. That was gangster. You know, but uh, he, you know, if you go back and you watch his fight with John Lober the second time, it was in the UFC in Brazil. Man, he's you know so he's he's saying stuff. You know, come on, tap. Come on, tap. You know, you want to tap. Mm-hmm. You know, and he, he's just egging him, and he did that. With everybody, he always talked, and it was funny because I had I had Frank Shamrock and Nick D- Diaz ends up fighting for Strike Force, and, <laughs> and it was one of the ones I went to the back and I'm talking to him. Said, "All right, you like to talk, he likes to talk. I don't care what you say to each other, as long as you, he, and I are the only ones that hear it. Okay? If it starts getting ridiculous, and it's, I'm going to start taking points from you, so be smart about it. Okay? And they were they talked, and you, know, you take points. Will. You can." It, really, when it comes to the, what the rule says is abusive language. Mm-hmm. So when you're sitting there and you're saying, you know, bitch, that's not abusive. You know, Christ, you know, that, that's normal language. You know, when you start to get into things that would be towards ethnic or racial or things like gotcha. that, you're talking abusive, and I'm not going to allow that to happen.